Okay, today we have the Eosheen E50 selfie drone. This drone is a little cheap, sort of under £40 drone. It connects to your phone in order to take selfies, as the name implies. It's completely controlled by your smartphone. And that's cracking open. So on the box, it's a very sleek, modern designed box. You've got the design of the quad on the top, branding on the sides. Then on the bottom, you've got how to get to the app, the colour, which says a white one and a pink one. Um, and that's about it, really. Made in China, of course. So let's open this thing up. In the box, you're going to see the manual, which is printed in colour. And it's rather good about how to connect to the app and how the app works. The drone itself, and then carry case. A USB and some props. So let's get this laid out on the table and I'll talk to you in further detail. So, in the box, you're going to get a nice carry case which will keep the drone and the camera lens protected when it's in your backpack or handbag or whatever. It's a nice feel sort of bag with a pull closed top. You're going to get one 500 milliamp 3.7 volt battery. This battery is going to give you about 7 to 8 minutes flight time and it's going to take about 120 minutes according to Eosheen to charge with the charger included. So, moving on to the charger included. The charger included is just a simple USB charger with a rather tight cap which you just plug the USB back into the back and then a red light will come on and once the red light goes off or it starts flashing or something like that think it's when it goes off and the battery is charged. You're also going to get the four props that are on the drone itself and then four of the white props. These props have no markings on them so if you need to put them onto the quad it's kind of hard to tell which one goes where especially if you're sort of less of a enthusiast and you know which you probably are because this is a bit of a lower end quad. The quad itself very sleek design and it's very light, weighing at 73 grams. According to Eosheen, you get about 40 meters range from your phone, but I tend to get about 15 to 20 meters range, which is rather disappointing. And because this drone has no failsafe, if your phone loses connection, it's going to start to slowly come down and try and land. But if there's any wind, because this is so light, it starts to drift away. So moving on, you get you can tilt the camera up and down to a certain degree. The camera is 720p and can do video and pictures. And both the video and pictures are controlled from your phone. In the bottom of the quadcopter, you're going to get a battery tray which just pops forwards and then you slide it open. And you plug in the battery there and leave the battery in the battery tray and then pop it shut. Power button on the top, you just push once to turn the quadcopter on, connect it to your phone, fly around, push it once again to turn it off. So, and then you've got the folding out arms, which sort of have the tactile feel lock into place, and they're pretty sturdy when they're in place. Uh, what's a bit of a shame is you get the green props out of the box, but you don't get any spare green props, so you don't really. As I was saying, you know, it's kind of hard to tell which one goes where. And having the different colour props makes it easier to see which one's the front. Another feature that makes it easier to see is you've got the LEDs on the front and on the rear. Which make it easier to tell when it's flying away from you which orientation the quad is in. Overall, this quad is pretty nice and pretty easy to carry. As when it's folded, it's 13.5cm by 6.5cm by 2.5cm. And when it's unfolded, then it is about 13.5 by 16 centimeters by 20 by 2.5. Sorry, and that's from there to there. It's really easy to carry, and the camera will stream to your phone to make it easier to see what's going on. You also get a feature called altitude hold, which it has a built-in barometer which detects how high it is, and then you push a button on your phone. And it will hold to that height so you can fly around without worrying about what height you're at. Um, after flying this, the propellers 
in fact these propellers are the ones I flew and I haven't broken any or lost any which is rather good because normally they tend to fly off with these smaller quads or they tend to snap but these are flexible enough that they don't snap but they're not too flexible that they bend in the flight thank you for watching the Ishin E50 uh, sort of quick review and unboxing I hope you enjoyed this video and if you need any more help starting up your drone you can go and watch the quick start guide on my channel there'll be a link to it in the description if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you want to see more content in the future please subscribe if you have any problems with your drone then please leave a comment and i'll help you as best as i can thank you for watching have a nice day